Austria, um, actually in Austria, Arnold Schwarzenegger is an absolute legend. Everyone loves him. You're from Austria, you said? Oh, you like Austrians? Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Do you like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not so much. Okay. <laughs> well, all the Austrians love Arnold Schwarzenegger. Absolutely love him. Because what he achieved is amazing, right? He was a bodybuilder, then an actor, then governor of California. Amazing. And all that with a shitty accent. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. I'll get to the chopper. You know, it's incredible. And he could have, he only could get so successful in entertainment, I think, right? And no other industry could have made it with that accent. I mean, can you imagine him being a doctor? I, I got terrible news. <laughs> Doesn't work. I was wondering, because I'm half Austrian, but also half Korean, um, I wondered, you know, if he were Korean, could he have done all that? Could he have succeeded in all that? But I guess even the catch rates would be so off, like, I didn't be back, <laughs> get into the chopper. <laughs> Just doesn't work, you know? It's great to be back. Oh man, the, during the pandemic, I was home a lot, a lot, and I was reading a lot. Um, uh, I'm really into UFC and boxing, but I don't know that much about it. So I was reading a book on fighting. It's called Mein Kampf. <laughs> yeah, I thought it's a book on mixed martial arts, but the author really doesn't like the word mixed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, was, I was reading also other books. I was reading Harry Potter. Any Harry Potter fans here? Yeah, all right. I was reading it. It's a big thing for me because um, for a long time for me it was a taboo because I grew up Christian and uh, I don't know if people know this, but like uh, Protestant churches and Catholic churches too, I think. Um, they discourage people from reading Harry Potter. This is true. Yeah, it's true. And I never understood why, right? I always ask, like, why, why can't I read Harry Potter? Why don't you read the Bible? <laughs> always the answer, you know? But now, I, I think I kind of understand why. I think <laughs> they didn't want to spread the idea that kids can be more powerful than their predator. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I still am Christian, not as much anymore, but uh, still Christian. And I was reading the Bible, and um, I was reading about Joseph, you know, Mary's husband, and I really felt for the guy. Because he's, he's, he's in such a tough spot. Whatever he does, she will always compare him to her previous lover. God! <laughs> right? Always. Like, yeah, he's a carpenter, he tries to impress her, he's like, look, Mary, I built you this chair. And she's like, the guy before you, he built the entire world. <laughs> Not impressed at all. That's okay, no problem. But I think the really tough part is in the, in the bedroom. Like, they're having sex and she's like, oh God. He's like, oh. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's weird, like, uh, when you're older, you realize so much more, and I was, I just finally realized, it's so weird, but uh, I was looking at paintings of Jesus, and on all the paintings, he's so attractive. Have you guys noticed? Like, unnecessarily attractive, you know? Why? He's a religious leader, like, Jesus is the best-looking 30-year-old virgin. <laughs> you think about that? It's a, it's as if his painters were just trying to get him laid. That's what it was, you know? And it's only him. The other apostles, not, not that good looking. Like, uh, in that group, when they go out, you definitely know who's the one getting lucky. You know, it's definitely, you know, maybe Judas, because everybody loves a bad boy. But probably Jesus, right? What's his pickup line? Like, uh, I guarantee you a second coming. <laughs> that, that's another thing, like he always has this really, he sounds sexy too, you know, in all the movies he always has this smooth voice 
and a British accent for some reason? <laughs> Go forth. Your sins have been forgiven. He never sounds like, Oh, I'm the son of God. So please follow me. You know, I'm going to rescue you. It never sounds like that. Never. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm just jealous, actually. I'm just jealous because uh, the lockdown has been really tough on me, dating-wise. I, I really like this one girl, uh, but we couldn't meet up because she didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Uh, thanks. This feels nice. Uh, the I, I kept writing her, but she she never replied. And you know, I was trying to improve my texting game, and female friends kept telling me that size matters. So I wrote the longest paragraphs. <laughs> no reply. So I, I heard that thickness matters. So I wrote everything in bold letters. <laughs> no reply. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to you know make it more romantic. So I wrote an actual letter and sent it to her. Yeah, so like I'm like her secret lover, right? Like I'm serious, you know. But my handwriting is really ugly, so I took magazines and cut up the alphabet. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, you know what? I got finally got a reply from her. Finally, yes. Yeah. Not, I mean, not really from her, from my lawyers. But, uh, yeah, not so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, that, you know, I, I finally I signed up on Tinder because that wasn't working. Anyone on Tinder here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. And you're sitting by yourself? Is that, or are you part of the... Oh, sorry, okay. Uh, I, I definitely feel you. All right. Everyone else is not on Tinder. Okay, wow. Good for you. All right. Um, well, I, you know, I signed up on Tinder and noticed something. I've noticed that all the girls who like me they all seem to have at least one picture of them traveling in Asia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They all love K-pop. And, you know, um, I'm starting to think they like me. They don't like me for my looks or my personality. They seem to like me just because I'm Asian. And I'm starting to feel like I'm getting fetishized, you know? <laughs> and it feels great. <laughs> the more Asian I am, the better the date is, I realize. And also now, on every date, I go in karate uniform. <laughs> and when she asks, uh, what's your favorite food? I say, number 33. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a lovely